do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello and good morning students we are doing chapter 2 velocity and acceleration and we are doing uh, velocity and acceleration of four bar chain we've already seen one question let's see the second question uh, this question also involves acceleration diagram so here is the question pqrs is a four bar chain with the link ps fixed the length of the links are pq is 62.5 mm qr is 175 mm rs is 112.5 mm ps is 200 mm the crank pq rotates at 10 radians per second clockwise draw the velocity and acceleration diagram when the angle q ps is 60 degree q and r lie on the same side of ps find the angular velocity and angular acceleration of link qr and rs since this question is talking about velocity angular velocity and angular acceleration you have to draw both the diagrams the velocity and the acceleration diagram also the configuration diagram is uh, always there so let's start drawing the configuration diagram first uh, first of all you have to select a scale depending on the values of the length of the links you have to select a scale so the lengths are 62.5 175 112.5 200 so select a scale in such a way that the diagram doesn't become too big not it becomes too small so the scale that we can take here is 25 mm is 1 cm and then start drawing the configuration diagram so first of all you have to draw the fixed length the length fixed the length which is fixed is ps and it is of 200 mm length so 200 mm length the scale that i've taken is 25 so, so 200 comes out to 8 cm so i've drawn the fixed length that is ps is done now go on to the crank the crank is pq is the crank which is the length of pq is given as 62.5 and the angle given is qps is 60 degree first of all you have to plot the angle the value of qp is 62.5 so 62.5 according to our scale comes out to 62.5 divided by 25 which is nothing but 2.5 now we're done with qps part now we have to draw the other two links we've drawn the two links that is the crank and the fixed link next is the qr which is 175 mm long which is of 7 cm next is the link rs which is 112.5 mm which 
which comes out to 4.5 centimeter. Now we have drawn the configuration diagram. Now we have to check uh, the direction in which the crank is rotating. If you read the question, the crank is having an angular velocity of 10 radians per second, which is clockwise. So we have to show the direction of the angular velocity of crank. Crank is PQ. Now next thing is to plot the direction of velocity of point Q with respect to P. We have drawn the vector Q with respect to P. We know the direction of V, Q, P. Now let's calculate the magnitude of velocity of Q with respect to P. Well, value of velocity of Q with respect to P comes out to 0 0.625 meters per second. Now we have calculated the uh, magnitude of velocity of Q with respect to P. Now, but just by selecting a proper scale, we can plot the vector velocity of Q with respect to P. We can easily draw the line of V of Q with respect to P. You have to select a proper scale first of all. Since the value is given as 0 0.625 meters per second, select a scale such that uh, suppose 0 0.2 meters per second is 1 centimeter. Now we are done with point Q. Next is let's move on to the point R. 
R has two reference points that is R with respect to Q and R with respect to S. The velocity of R with respect to Q is a line perpendicular to QR and the velocity of R with respect to S is a line perpendicular to RS. Now we can just draw the both the lines perpendicular to the respective links. Now we have drawn both the vectors velocity rq and velocity rs. We only know their directions, their magnitude is not known because we don't know the angular velocity of the links. So what we can do is we can draw both the lines that is v velocity of r with respect to x can be drawn from the point s and the velocity of r with respect to q can be drawn from the point q. So we've drawn the velocity diagram. We've drawn the velocity diagram. Next, uh, now since the velocity diagram is complete, we can calculate the angular velocity of link QR and RS. So velocity of RQ is the length RQ from the velocity diagram into the scale. Now you have to measure the length RQ from the velocity diagram. Now we've got the velocity VRQ and VRS. Now you can calculate their omegas.
and this RQ is nothing but the length of the link RQ. If you see in the diagram, the length of the length RQ is 175 mm. So we have done all the calculations that is omega of r with respect to omega of link rq and omega of link rs now let's move on to the second part of the question that is the acceleration diagram which helps us to calculate the angular accelerations <clears throat> before drawing the acceleration diagram we have to show the acceleration of different points that is acceleration of point q it will be having two f acceleration that is the radial and the tangential any point has two acceleration if it is perform performing angular motion but the crank is rotating with angular velocity which is constant since the angular velocity is constant there will be no tangential acceleration there will be only radial acceleration of q with respect to p Next, uh, move on to let's move on to point R. There'll be two acceleration of R with respect to Q, radial acceleration of R with respect to Q, and tangential acceleration of R with respect to Q. Radial is always along the link towards the center of rotation, and tangential is always perpendicular to the link, or you can say it is along the velocity. So the radial acceleration of R with respect to Q. and the tangential acceleration of R with respect to Q we have uh, shown the radial acceleration of R with respect to Q we have shown the tangential acceleration of R with respect to Q now let's uh, move on to the link RS so RS will be having two acceleration that is radial acceleration of R with respect to S and tangential acceleration of R with respect to S Now let's uh, start with the acceleration diagram. So for that you have to select a scale but before we select a scale we have to calculate the value of radial acceleration of Q with respect to P. The radial acceleration is nothing but v square upon the radius so radial acceleration of q with respect to p is velocity of q with respect to p square upon the length q p so the velocity of q with respect to p we've already know that value
we've got the magnitude of the radial acceleration of q with respect to p which is 6.25 meters per second square so now we know the magnitude now just just let's uh, select a particular scale and plot the line radial acceleration of q with respect to p one meter per second square is one centimeter that is a scale that i've chosen now select a point random point and name the points as p and s And the value is 6.25 and the scale that I've chosen is 1 meter per second square is 1 centimeter so the length will be 6.25 meters. We have drawn the radial acceleration of R uh, of Q with respect to P. Uh, there is no tangential acceleration because the crank rotates with angular velocity, constant angular velocity. So there will be no tangential acceleration. Now let's move on to the point R. Point R has again has radial acceleration and tangential acceleration. So first of all, let's find the magnitude of radial acceleration of R with respect to Q. Now we have drawn the radial acceleration of R with respect to Q. Next is the tangential acceleration of R with respect to Q, which we only know in direction because we don't know the velocity. We don't know the magnitude because for calculating tangential acceleration, you need the value of alpha, and so uh, alpha that is the angular acceleration, which is not given, which is which has to be found. So you don't know the magnitude of tangential acceleration of R with respect to Q. You only know the direction. So we can just draw a line 
uh, in the given direction. So we have drawn a dotted line which indicates tangential acceleration of r with respect to q. We don't know the magnitude so we cannot plot the exact length. Now let's move on to r with respect to s. The radial acceleration of r with respect to s first you have to find that. So let's find the radial acceleration of r with respect to s. So the value of radial acceleration of R with respect to S comes out to 1.568 meters per second square. So we can plot the vector R with respect to S. Since it is R with respect to S, you have to draw the line from point S. Now you have to uh, select a length. So the scale is select taken as 1 meter per second square is 1 centimeter. So uh, we got the value of 1.568. So it will be of 1.568 centimeters then. So approximately you have to draw the line 1.568. <clears throat> Next is the tangential acceleration of R with respect to S. Again, here we don't know the magnitude of uh, the acceleration, we only know the direction. So, just plot the direction of the line. So the point where both the lines intersect, that is the tangential component of R with respect to uh, Q and tangential component of R with respect to inter uh, the intersect, we get the point R. As you can see here, uh, the tangential component of R with respect to Q and the tangential component of R with respect to S, they both intersect at some point. So we, you have to name the point as point R. Now, once you got the intersection, you can uh, get the velocities, uh, that is, I mean the acceleration, the tangential acceleration which was earlier unknown, now the intersection can give you the acceleration. So, this line is the tangential acceleration of R with respect to Q and this line is the tangential acceleration of R with respect to S. As you can see here, radial acceleration of R with respect to Q, tangential of R with respect to Q, joining the endpoints will give you resultant of R with respect to Q. Again, this is the radial of R with respect to S, this is the tangential of R with respect to S, joining the endpoints will give you the resultant of R with respect to S. So the acceleration diagram is also complete. Now we can go for the calculation of the angular accelerations.
So, uh, tangential acceleration of RQ is 4.1, tangential acceleration of RS is 5.6. Now, the angular acceleration of both the links, that is, the link QR and the link RS can be found. So we are done with the question. Uh, first, we let's first let's again revise the whole question again. This was the question given to you. PQR is a four bar chain with PS fixed. Length of the links are given. The crank is given. And it is rotating with ten radians per second clockwise. First of all, you have to draw the configuration diagram. That is the the diagram selecting a particular scale. Once you draw the diagram, you have to show the direction of angular velocity on the crank. Uh, you also know the magnitude of the angular velocity next once you draw the configuration diagram you should go on to the calculation of velocities so first of all you have to plot the velocity of q with respect to q q with respect to p which is perpendicular to the link qp you can calculate the magnitude of velocity of q with respect to p and the magnitude comes out to 0.625 once you get the magnitude you can select a particular scale and plot the line now you can go on to the point r <clears throat> point r will be having two velocities r with respect to q and r with respect to s velocity r with respect to q will be a line perpendicular to rq and r with respect to s will be a line perpendicular to rs so you know they are directions only their magnitude is not known because you don't know the angular velocities so you can just plot these lines and you can um, by the intersection you can get the triangle and once you get the triangle, <coughs> you can get the velocity of V R S and velocity V R Q. Once you know the velocity, you can do the calculation for their respective omegas, omega R Q and omega R S. That was the first half of the question. After <coughs> that, you should go on to the calculation of acceleration. Every point has two acceleration. I've already told you the radial and the tangential acceleration. The crank rotates with angular velocity that is constant angular velocity so there is no tangential there is only radial point r will be having two acceleration 
point r with respect to q will be radial of r with respect to q and tangential of r with respect to q again r with respect to s will be radial of r with respect to s and tangential of r with respect to s so you have to calculate all the radial accelerations because they can be easily found using a simple formula radial acceleration is v square by r so radial acceleration of qp is v qp square upon qp so radial acceleration of qp is 6.25 once you get the value of 6.25, you have to select a scale that is 1 meter per second square is 1 centimeter I have chosen. After selecting the scale, you have to plot the line velocity of r with q with respect to p. And the value you get, the whatever value that you get, you have to plot a line of the radial acceleration. Now you have to move to the point r. Now again calculate the velocity of r with respect to q. So I mean the acceleration of r with respect to q, that is a radial acceleration. So the radial acceleration of r with respect to q comes out to uh, 0.825 after calculation. So keeping the same scale, you cannot change the scale, you have to plot the line 0.825. So I have plotted the line 0.825 somewhere over here. So this is the line that is the radial acceleration of r with respect to q. Next is the tangential acceleration of r with respect to q. You don't know the magnitude since alpha is not known. To calculate tangential acceleration, you should know the angular acceleration, which is not known. So you can only you only know the direction of the uh, vector r with respect to q. So just draw a line. So I was talking about the acceleration, the radial acceleration. We can calculate the magnitude, but for tangential acceleration, you only know the directions. So the tangential acceleration, the direction of tangential acceleration of r with respect to q is this. So I've drawn the line. Tangential acceleration of r with respect to s. I've drawn the line. So wherever the tangential accelerations intersect, that is the point R. And once the point R is fixed, you can fix the magnitude of the tangential acceleration. So this length represents the magnitude of tension of R with respect to Q. And this length represents the magnitude of tangential acceleration of R with respect to S. Now, since there are two accelerations, there will be resultant acceleration. So this is the radial acceleration of RQ. This is the tangential of RQ. Joining the endpoints will give you the resultant acceleration of RQ. Here again, the same thing. Radial acceleration of RQ, tension of RQ, so this is the resultant of RQ. So you can get the resultant acceleration as well. After calculating the tangential accelerations, you can go for calculation of the alpha. The tangential acceleration of RQ from the diagram can be found, and the tangential acceleration of RS can also be found from the diagram. Now it, the formula is A tangential is R alpha, A tangential of RQ is RQ times alpha RQ. So alpha RQ will be A tangential RQ upon RQ, so alpha can be found. A tangential RS is RS into alpha RS, so A tangential is 5.6 uh, from the diagram. And dividing by RS, RS is the length of the link, which is uh, in terms of meters comes out to 0.1125. So alpha RS is 49.77, unit is radians per second square. So that was all about this question, it's a pretty lengthy question. Uh, when it comes to both diag uh, both the diagrams, velocity and acceleration. So you have to take utmost care while, while drawing and you have to select a proper scale so that the diagram uh, comes to a proper size, not too big and not too small also. So uh, it requires a lot of practice also. So that was all about this question. I hope you've understood everything clearly. So thank you so much.